Hi everyone, Reed here at Tomnasal Cooperative Farm, and uh, this is a presentation of Bob's makeover. Bob is an old Taylor Dunn B48, B248 burden carrier intended for uh, warehouse work, and we've been upgrading him for use here on our farm. Changes to tires, front and rear, a bunch of changes to the body to make it a little bit more weatherproof, and uh, brain and heart transplant. Same old GE motor, but uh, running at 48 volts now instead of 36. This is a battery tray that used to hold 350 pounds of lead acid batteries and now holds nothing. Here's the new battery pack made out of uh, Chevy Volt cells. Still needs a little bit of work on the cover to get it covered up safely, but two packs of 12 volt cells, each at 3.7 volts. Uh, lithium cells from a, a scrapyard Chevy Volt battery uh, yields a 48 volt power pack of tw two sets of 12 parallel cells and uh, a lot more amperage than previously would have been available. And all tracks NPX, uh, so the non-programmable Alltrax 300 amp controller that I found used. Uh, a kilovac main contactor that I found used. And a 500 amp nominal um, reversing relay intended for electric winches for uh, direction reversing. So these carts have a really nice simple drivetrain where the motor piggybacks on the diff and chain drives the diff input and then mounted to the front of that is a drum for a parking brake. The whole drivetrain fits in this little rear section and uh, now the battery fits in a small area too. So from the other side you can see the various logic control bits, uh, fuses, terminal strips, relays for running the contactors and reversing uh, a DC to DC converter up here to recharge the 12 volt battery from the 48 volt battery on the other side. Uh, a reversing backup beeper which I have uh, removed from this test because it's horribly noisy. And a fuse for the 12 volt circuits. There's a big fuse on the battery for the 48 volt power circuits. So there's lots of space under the bed and uh, need to make a new bed top for it and get it all waterproofed. And I uh, also had to close up the rear wheel wells. So I added these bits of uh, galvanized steel panel to close them up so that mud can't be thrown into the middle. Up at front seats there's a dead man switch under the driver's seat which I have defeated for the purpose of this test. And, and then a, a new dashboard configuration so that it's a little bit easier and more useful. You turn it on and you get indicator lamp here, horn, headlight, forward reverse with indicators, and then voltage readout for the 48 volt battery battery pack. There's no BMS on this, so the driver needs to watch the voltmeter and make sure that they're respecting it in order to avoid discharge of the battery. Now the throttle linkage is a little potentiometer mounted with a bell crank in between the two front seats. So the old throttle linkage connected here. The new one is a potentiometer hidden behind this bracket and then with a bell crank. It's pulled by a spring and returned by a spring which I know is imperfect but maybe I'll figure out a better linkage someday. So when I pull on the main, when I, I'm now depressing the throttle pedal with my hand down here and the pot gets pulled through. It's only about a 45 degree um, range for this particular pot, so I drilled a bunch of holes into the bell crank and then fiddled with springs until I got the behavior that I wanted. So it goes about 45 degrees forward 
and back to zero. And at this position it's five kilo ohms, and at this position it's down to 0 0.5 or something. That's the type of uh, secondhand controller that I ended up with was a, an NPX that was configured for uh, club cars with three wire throttle, five kilo ohm to zero. So that's the walk around. And if I come up front and tell it to go forward, you can hear the relays clench and the indicator light comes on. And then if I depress the throttle pedal with my hand, we should get, oh, that's the brake pedal. I can't see anything while I'm looking at the camera. So we really have uh, probably more top end than I totally need and thankfully the Alltrax controller has a half speed reverse function so that when I put it in reverse Hopefully we'll get more control backing up. And this is top speed in reverse. And then I'm gonna have to teach everyone to stop before shifting gears because we don't have regen and we don't have plug braking and we don't wanna cause things to explode. So I'm gonna do a stop before shifting, go back into first or forward and then run it up to top end again. Voila, probably time to take Bob down off the jack stands and go for a real test drive. Thanks for watching.